Eagle Football is finished here, Palace 3, Wolves 2. Um, here with a Wolves fan, Sam. Um, thanks for obviously spending your time to talk to us today as well. Um, thoughts of the game from a Wolves perspective? Um, it, I think it started off fairly evenly. We were right, apart from that, that early chance uh, where you know, it was basically cleared off the line. That was getting a bit sketchy. We had a bit of a, a, a few dodgy moments like that. You know, playing out from the back, you, you do find that uh, it can get itself stuck in a corner. Uh, but I think the first half we were quite even and then, you know, you guys came in and just sort of <laughs> just came in and, yeah, those, those two goals, uh, the, the first two, they just sort of, yeah, derailed us, I think. And then from there on, it was a, a case of just holding on, uh, trying to hold on for, for a draw. Um, obviously, yeah, it, it didn't go our way. A nice little consolation goal at the end to make it didn't, so it didn't look too painful. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of that for us. <laughs> for me, um, I, I think you look played well. I think you played well. And I think it's, it epitomises your whole season so far, where you've played well, but you just lack that cutting edge up top. And I think that's the same problem we have as well yeah. as Palace fans. Um, you had a lot of half chances. You take those as a whole different ball game. But how, how do you measure your, your start to the season? How do you feel about it? I, I feel like uh, after everything that happened with uh, the manager, uh, you know, Lopetegui leaving at the, at the start, that was obviously quite uh, unfortunate. It's not what we wanted. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Gary O'Neill come in, he did a great job, Bournemouth, you know, fantastic. I was very happy to have him. Um, but as you say, you know, especially the first, you know, the game against United, uh, Old Trafford, we we were stomping, we were doing great. And it was just that unfortunate, uh, the goal, it was just, you know, it's the difference, isn't it? I mean, I mean, there's no other way to say it, it's the difference of that goal. And um, we have, we do have our chances, but we don't take them in the way that we should, uh, which is unfortunate because, you know, you can see the boys really working hard for it. You can see them given their all but it's, as I say that just that clinical finish it, it just isn't there um, I think for me the weakest game we had was the Brighton game uh, at Molyneux Brighton were, were a different just a different class for us obviously I know there's the tension between Brighton and Palace yeah. I know. didn't want to say that that's, that's where we're in front of you we are open and honest here yeah. <laughs> we've got a long way to go <laughs> yeah but um, like you say yeah, we just need that, that clinical edge you know they, they do put their all in and that's all I ask for the guys you know it's just to give it their all and uh you know, hopefully we'll, we'll come out on top. From a Wolves perspective, who was your man in the match? Uh, i got to say He-Chan. I know, he came on super sub, got us that first goal. Um, got a lot of love for He-Chan. He's a great player. Uh, he, and you can say, he, you know, he, he's a big favourite with the fans. Uh, and he, he's done it for us multiple times. Come on, giving us that goal. And it just gives us a bit of oomph. It didn't happen today. It didn't give us the oomph we needed. But, yeah, for me, He-Chan, it's just, just that impact. Just that impact. Uh, for me, uh, Lamina was really good in the department. Yeah. Um, yeah. But other than that, all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Take care. Yeah.